once the enterprise is fully cross-platform. We just ran our application's desktop version on the Windows operating system. However, this application will run absolutely the same on macOS and Linux. There's nothing to adapt or modify. The user interface and application behavior will be identical. We also don't need to do anything in order to create a web version. We just need to put it on a web service. Just a few clicks to publish your application to a web server. That's it. No web development required. We'll use a Microsoft IIS server, but we could also use an Apache server if we wanted to. Let's open a web browser and enter the application's local address. Please note that I have selected the English version. Notice that this is the same interface as the desktop version, even though it's in a browser. We have access to all the same features, document creation, copying, lists, etc. The desktop version and the web version are absolutely the same. Nothing to adapt. The user interface and application behavior are the same. All popular browsers are supported. Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, and Microsoft Edge. Once the enterprise's cross-platform capability doesn't stop there. The application we just created also works on mobile devices. Once the enterprise supports both Android and iOS. Note that forms can be developed for desktop and mobile at the same time. For example, we can create a document form and immediately see how it will be displayed on various mobile devices. You can publish a mobile app with just a couple of clicks. We publish through a web server that the system connects to in order to upload the published file. So now we've published our app. Let's launch it on a mobile device. The platform starts automatically. My application is loading. And here's our mobile app. We can add a document, create a new one, or edit an existing one. To make things more interesting, let's add a mobile feature, barcode scanning. Our platform is good at integrating with mobile operating system capabilities, so let's use that. I'm going to create an item form and create a command to scan barcodes, which will output the scanned code on the screen. So here's our scan command that we're going to place on the command bar. To make things convenient, let's turn off auto-filling the command panel with standard commands so the scan button is the only one left on the bar. To make it more visually appealing, let's assign an icon to the button instead of just text. Now it's time to write the scanning algorithm. We're going to write it in the form module. When the scan button is pressed, the scanning procedure will start. First, the scanning window will open. When scanning is complete, the code will be displayed on the user screen and the scanning window will close. Here we're going to write the event handler. We're going to limit where it can be used, an instruction, an instruction to the preprocessor that scanning can only be called up in mobile operating systems. If we want to code an application behavior for desktop, we can add in a check or put in an else block, but we're not going to spend time on that now. Here we declare a handler for successful scanning. Call the mobile system's built-in scanning feature. Open the scanning handler window. Now we need to write the successful scanning handler code.
Now we have a second procedure to write. It requires that we specify mandatory parameters. For the handler to work, we'll need to make it an export procedure. Now we just need to figure out what to do with the scanned barcode. For simplicity's sake, let's just bring it up on the screen. Now we publish our app. Obviously, the emulator can't perform a scan, so we'll test the new app feature on a real device. After publishing the app, we just need to press debug and the platform will automatically connect to a device or emulator, transfer our application, and launch it. There's our code. As we've seen in this demonstration, 1C Enterprise allows you to create cross-platform applications without coding, create documents and databases, analyze data, turn applications into web services, publish to mobile, integrate with mobile device features, and a whole lot more. This has been just a brief introduction to what 1C Enterprise is capable of. We hope that you will explore more of its features as you learn to build powerful business automation applications. Thanks for watching.